This presentation will help you complete essay number two. It's very similar to the first essay, except that this time the grade is 200 points. The length is the same between two to four pages. As with the uh, first rough draft, if you submit it late, Canvas will delete it. I never look at late rough drafts, so whatever you have by midnight, of Saturday week three you should submit to me or if you miss that deadline work with the uh, tutors at the writing studio. This uh, essay is 200 points so if you would turn the final version in on Monday you would this time lose 40 points and that would mean again the maximum grade would be a B minus. So even though you can submit a late essay for final versions, you don't want to do that. You always want to meet the deadline of Saturdays at midnight. I have to treat all students alike. This is the accelerated version of the course and I've found that by insisting that rough drafts have to be in by midnight, it does motivate most students. Uh, the Topics for weeks three and four are, uh, as listed on the screen, I won't read them this time, but you know what they are. And the formatting is the same, so I won't go through it line by line, but just as a reminder, set up the assignment for double spacing before you uh, start typing. And that usually means you have to change the font, from Calibri 11 to Times New Roman size 12, and the after paragraph setting must be on zero. And again, everything's the same. Two to four page limit, uh, line spacing, double spacing, uh, one inch margins and dent one half inch for paragraphs. Don't forget to center your title and the international format for the date. Those are some things that uh, you have to check for as you revise. And again, uh, you want to start with a compelling introduction that emphasizes a significant point about your topic. You never want to be saying these two things are alike and they're different because that's true of everything. And I am uh, suggesting that you Try experimenting with the direct quote if you didn't do it the first time around uh, for the first essay. It makes your essay more scholarly, and uh, that's a good thing in a, a college course. Of course, the anecdote, the brief short story that sets up the topic in the first paragraph um, can be interesting, or an intriguing question or a startling statement or even a couple questions, as long as they're compelling, not something that the reader already knows the answer to. And again, the same way you did with the first essay, you break down the topic into logical sections. Uh, if you outline first, that makes it easy. Your writing should be original by creating your own examples and your ideas to illustrate the topic. And it's always about emphasizing a significant point about the topic, making a claim about the topic. You end with that memorable conclusion. It emphasizes the significant point, and that could be a recommendation or a negative prediction, something that bad that would happen if the reader doesn't uh, take your recommendation. And you could create a circular effect with the introduction. Uh, if you did use the short story, that little anecdote, briefly in the introduction, you could come back to it and show the results in the conclusion. Come back to it in a different way. If you use a direct quote, again, come back to it in a different way. Now, as with the first example, you never want to use uh, any first or second, uh, the first essay, I should say. You never want to use any first or second pronoun words. Those are words like, I think, I believe, or you, or your. It's always third person pronouns, he, she, it, they. This is not about how you feel about the topic. It's about the topic directly and concisely. You don't say, I think X, Y, Z 
or in my opinion XYZ. That's actually not necessary because everything in a college assignment is your own ideas unless you give credit to a source. Uh, be concise, use correct grammar and spelling, and of course proofread to eliminate the typographical errors. Always avoid plagiarism. As I explained with the first essay, even if you think you are buying an essay from a website that will only sell it one time to you, what happens is people all over the world share what they bought with friends or they resell it. So then it shows up in Turnitin.com multiple times, even though the owner of that website sold it one time to one person, it can be resold for more money. And that's uh, typically what happens. You do not want to buy your essays. And of course, you're not learning when you do that. Plagiarism uh, will be detected by Turnitin.com. It's a very, very uh, sophisticated database. And typically, if you fail a 200-point assignment for plagiarism, you're going to fail the course. So you don't want to risk that. Write your own essay. If you have problems, get help, um, or decide that you need the 16 weeks, 64 hours of classroom instruction form of the class. And that's not admitting defeat, it's just uh, diagnosing a problem that the online accelerated format doesn't work for you. If you need to plagiarize, you probably should be taking the class on campus. So final reminders, don't write unnecessary repetition. Don't say what you intend to do in the introduction. Do it a second time in the body and then repeat it a third time. In a short two to four page essay, that's way too much repetition. Stay within the two to four page limit. Uh, if you write under two pages, you can't earn points for words you don't write. And if you go over four pages, you're being unfair to the other students uh, because they're only allowed to use four pages. And actually, so are you. You'll lose a substantial number of points if you don't stay within that range. And of course, as I emphasize, never, never plagiarize. If you have questions about the instructions for the assignment, just let me know. I'll be happy to help you. And good luck with your second essay.